Future and Back to the Future Part 2. Right next to these Stone Age foot powered cars from the Flintstones. So we have the future and the past totally covered. Now I'm a big fan of the Fast and the Furious movies. I like that we have different cars the movies in the series here. Kind of the series. And then right in the middle of everything, there's that gyrosphere from Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. But the thing about these cars is it's tough to tell just by looking whether they're the real deal. Like the tank there at the end of the line, that tank is made mostly out of plywood. So don't take it into battle, because it will not protect you. Oh, uh, when we're making a movie, the thing we care about is the picture. It's just like the buildings we were looking at a couple minutes ago. Uh, anything that's not in the picture, we don't worry about. And our cars need to look good, but if they look good enough, they don't actually have to work. A lot of the cars that you see in movies don't even have engines in them. We'll take the engine out if it's too loud, or if it's too heavy, take it out. Uh, the car you end up seeing on screen might be just an empty shell. It might be a miniature. Sometimes what we'll do is cut the car open so that we can see the actors inside because that's where the story is. And all of those modifications are easier to do if you start with a car that's custom built to begin with. Like most of the vehicles in the Jurassic Park movies. Welcome to Jurassic Park. We are holding for traffic here for just a second. Uh, but once we get rolling, we're going to be heading through a section of our lot 